We're going to get the latest now from the war in Ukraine. Russia is escalating attacks in the eastern part of the country in what appears to be a major offensive as the southern port city of Mariupol is on the brink of falling after a seven-week siege. Foreign correspondent James Longman is on the scene in Ukraine. Good morning, James. Yeah, good morning, George. We're outside the city of Zaporizhia in the southeast of Ukraine. Russian forces are about 15 miles from where I am now. And just about every man in every town and village in this region has gone to the front line because President Zelensky says Russia's second advance has begun. This morning, President Zelensky has announced the Russian offensive into the Donbass region has now begun. A very large part of the entire Russian army, he says, is now focused on this offensive. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov confirming today that Russia is starting a new phase of attack in the region. Another stage of this operation is beginning uh, and I'm sure this will be uh, a very important moment of this entire special operation. As of now, a senior U.S. defense official says the Russians have 76 battalion tactical groups in Ukraine, each of them with up to a thousand troops and all of them amassed in the south or east. The mayor of Kramatorsk, where a rocket killed nearly 60 people earlier this month, says the situation has been escalating in recent days. We are attacked by rockets every night, every day. And in the nearby port city of Mariupol in the southeast, Ukrainian forces outnumbered. They're still desperately holding on as Russian troops close in. Remaining Ukrainian forces in the city are held up in the Azovstal steel plant. This drone footage released by Mariupol City Council shows smoke pouring from their stronghold. But it's unclear when the video was taken. Russia once again demanding the surrender of the remaining fighters in Mariupol, the new deadline passing just hours ago. Pro-Russian separatists say they are assisting Russian troops now storming the compound. The city a strategic target in this eastern push as Russia seeks to create a land bridge connecting Crimea. Civilians desperate to escape. Ukrainian officials say there may have been tens of thousands of civilian casualties. With reports of humanitarian convoys being hit, escaping is dangerous. Columns of cars that have just got out of the eastern part of Ukraine, which is occupied by Russia. You can see on some of the cars the word children to try to make sure they have safe passage. Natasha grips on to son Ivan. Staying there is scarier than leaving, she says. We were surrounded by armed people, she says. You have kids and people with guns can just decide to break into your apartment. And as Russia claims to have hit hundreds of targets across the country, Vladimir Putin's forces not without setbacks. Images have now emerged online showing the Russian warship Moskva sinking. Casualties are still unknown. Now, there was a lot of pride here for how Ukrainian forces had managed to defend the capital, Kyiv, but no one is under any illusions. This second advance is going to be so much more difficult to defend. George. James Longman, thank you.